or ZZ Top. Anyhow, we are sitting at 10.01, 40 seconds after the hour. Um, it is time for Anishinaabe Moen with Auntie Karen here, the Karen Drift um, language show. Yeah, so we are ready to roll here. We are, uh, let me just turn her up here in a second so she can hear. And uh, yeah, so we're, we're ready to roll here. And I uh, just want to introduce myself, tell you a little bit, or my clan, and also uh, where I am from. I am currently from Lake Vermilion, so that's what I'll be uh, saying in the language. And trying to say how old I am. Can you hear us? No. Oh, no. I can't hear. All right, hold on. I can hear you talking. Oh. About right there. There? Go in. I don't know. Maybe it is. Oh, yeah. No, this one here. getting anything here let me see pull that down here we go is that any better no no huh? <sighs> see. I swear it's always something <laughs> there, I can, no I can hear you these. oh just not without the headphones though huh all right you're gonna have to bear with us here a little bit I got some troubleshooting to do but uh, hang in there we are planning to go on here up until the noon hour if I can get Auntie's uh, headset working here I it was working just fine yesterday I can hear you through the headset oh you can yeah no, uh, I can. how about yourself can you hear yourself now go no oh wow I can't hear myself Unless I have the wrong one here. Oh. Try that. I can hear you. There, there we there. go. <laughs> yeah, <me too. laughs> oh, thank you for bearing with us there. We are ready to roll, I believe. Um, and like I said, I'm going to introduce myself here. Uh, my name is Redbird. Uh, Muscobanese indigenous cause. I am from the Eagle Clan, and that is uh, Migizi Nindundem. That is uh, the Eagle Clan, and uh, I am from Lake Vermilion, and that would be Onanami Zagaigan Indunjaba. That is where I am from. Uh, Onanami Zagaigan is Lake Vermilion, and uh, Indunjaba is the um, where I am from, or I am from there. Uh, let's see, I also have trouble with this. I'm trying to tell you that I'm 55 years old. Something like that. Yeah. Um, I'll say this just to be, try to be humble. Bungi et go nita anishinaabe moen. And I'm just stating that I know a little bit of Anishinaabe Moen, by no means a fluent speaker, but I am, uh, you know, trying to help uh, Anakin get through here. You're going to get there. Oh, I hope so. Miu, uh, miigwech, bizindawiyek. And that just saying thank you for listening to me. Um, give me time. Bijpanezagi 
because you got to know Jesus and um, freezing over moon today. A yan me no gis you got good day. Oh yeah, so uh, weather wise, let me see, I'm gonna try to pull up the weather here really quick just to update you all on what's happening outside. As you can tell, there's plenty of sun. I took a walk to the store and oh, it was really good, really crisp walk and I uh, got myself some goodies. I know my, uh, it's been kind of dry. We got, uh, what do you call that? Uh, that floor heating ante, so mm -hmm. that really creates like dry air. <laughs> yeah. And then when I'm sleeping, I wake up and uh, my throat is just dry. You should have a Humidifier. cedar water. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. On a little hot plate or something going mm -hmm. all night. Yeah, I'll try to get that rolling. And uh, yeah, so it, uh, excuse my scratchy voice. Oh, I don't irritate anybody too much. Um, okay, right now in a subby canes a guy gun. Um, this is always hiding under my computer. I can never look at it. Um, today, Anin uh, Asia Wabuk. Our weather out there, Aqua Jing outside, is uh, let's see here. 40 degrees. Yeah, so we're sitting at 40 degrees. Nice bright sun. Uh, your average usually around this time of year is around 45. Your average low is about uh, 25. And uh, today it's going to be on the on the good side, on the minnow side, and it is going to be. 60 degrees out there later on today under partly cloudy skies southeasterly winds around five miles per hour and tonight uh it calls for partly cloudy skies with a low of 44 and uh south east winds five to ten miles per hour and then tomorrow you're gonna get a little bit warmer about six degrees so we'll be up to 66 with a blend of clouds and sun with daytime highs approaching 66 and south winds 10 to 15 miles per hour yeah so there you go you got your weather just wanted to update y'all on that and uh we're going to continue on with the show here what's your what's your topic today auntie okay well today i've been posting values like i posted four mm -hmm. and i think i'll go through them today oh great you know, yeah sound and then later on i'm gonna go after we get done with that, I'm going to uh, talk about how the reservation has changed mm -hmm. since I was a little girl and how it is today. Mm -hmm. But uh, the first value that I put, if you want to repeat after me, you could. Okay. It's the, one, the value for today. If you live a good life, you will live a long time. Gishpin. That's if Gishpin we were any be modesty Kabe eke kabe modes Gishpin we were any be modes be modes you can say Gishpin be we Gishpin we 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 be modesty or be be modesty when Kabe e is a long time Kabe eke kabe modes you will live a long life. You will live a long life. Gishpin. Way way ni bimatis. Kabe i kikabe matis. Go ahead, George. Gishpin. Way way ni. Way way ni. Bimatis. 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 Kabe i. Kabe i. Kika. Kika. Bimatis. Bimatis. Mm -hmm. So gabe no gishpin Keep up modest. Keep up modest. Keep up modest. 
Tika. Then if you learn this, you'll just be able to say, Oh, okay. Yeah. Another one I, the second one that I, I, uh, I did was, uh, did like three of them. I, I didn't bring that paper. But uh, that was the first one that I that I, I put out. If you live a long life, you will live a long time. Um, uh, and then to, uh, this morning, Oh, then I put it down. The second value was on Friday. Nano gives you got this Friday. Fifth day. See, Nano, but they just changed it to Nano gives you got. It, and it's, uh, the value is remember, remember your dream. Someday you will know the purpose of your, of your dream. Minjaman Don. Minjaman Don. And Abba the Man. And Abba Yeah. In good ding. In good ding. He can down. He can down. But what you get on? But what you get on? Yeah. Min. Min Minjaman Don. That means hold on to it or hang on. Minjaman Don. And now, and now, and in good thing that one wants in good thing, he can do gobble watch again or gobble watch again, whatever you want, or you ever want to say it. He can do, yeah, he can do. You can say Kiki Kanda, but watch it down. You'll know what's your dream. He can do, but watch it get. Minja man done. Minja man done. That means hang on to it. Minja man done. In Nabandaman. That's what you dream. In Nabandaman. In good thing. One time. You'll know. But watch again. Or but watch again. Remember your dreams. Someday you will know the purpose of your dream. That was our second value I posted. Minja went down. Yeah, Minja man down. Minja man down. M I N J I M E N D A. Minja man down. Oh, Minja Minda. Okay. In Nabandam. Man. In Nabandam. In Nabanda. Man. In Na. E N A A B A N. In Da. In Da. In Nabanda. In Nabandam. In Nabandam. In Nabandam. In Gudding. One time, in good thing, geek and uh, you'll know the perks. Oh, okay, so uh, Minju Minjamin Dan or Minjamin Da mm -hmm. in Nabindaman or in Nabindaman in good thing, in good thing, geek and oh, the geek and uh, Again. Oh, but watch it again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember your dream. Someday you will know the purpose of your dream. And that's uh, value number two that I, I posted on the, on Facebook. Benjamin Dunn. That means hang on to it. Benjamin Dunn in Nabindaman or in Nabindaman mm -hmm. 
Ingo Ding, Gekin Kain Dan, Bewatcher Gay. In or Yang, Bewatcher Gay Yang. I always get mixed up when I'm writing. I, I always want to say G A Y instead of just G E. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Be gay dumb. That's all right. Be wajigay dumb. Be wajigay. Be wajigay young or be ga be ga be wajigay young. Y A N on the end. Ba wa B A W A J I G E Y A N Yan. Oh, okay. Oh, want you gay Yan? Okay. That's if you practice these, you'll uh, you know, like. Uh, well, it really helps with uh, having somebody pronounce it because I know, like I, I'm even just trying to write it down. It, mm -hmm. It's uh, I get caught up between like. Um, what do you call it? Phonetically spelling, you know, and yeah. then using that double vowel or whatever. You can, you can hear. I mean, you can uh, when you hear it. It's it's uh, better to hear it. Right. Yep. And How would you say that? It's better. It's better to uh, to hear. Uh, Nikki Nunda. Mm, you hear it. Mm, okay. Nikki Nunda. Nikki Nunda Nagamon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know. Um, okay. The mother one, the two I went through on my Facebook, so I thought I'd. Uh, I thought I'd uh, say them over, over here, so they could hear, so they could hear the words. You spin way we need the modesty. Could be it could be modest. Min way it's dumb. In Nabadan, in Nabadaman, in Goding. Kikain, kiki, kikain dan. Be wajigayan. Yeah, Nagi can don be wajigayan. Okay. And then I, I have uh, after I'm gonna keep putting values on. Uh, I'm gonna keep putting values on the uh, on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, if you're out there listening and, and you want some additional um, instruction, uh, Auntie puts, uh, she has a Facebook, so add her on your Facebook if you're interested in uh, learning. She, she has a lot of stuff that she posts up already, and uh, so uh, get up on her, her Facebook, add her, or follow her, or however that works, and uh, yeah, you'll get little tidbits here and there. And what's really nice about that is you can kind of put things together or start putting things together, you know, from what you learn on the on the station here, and then what she puts up on on uh, Facebook, and then also just kind of things that you, you learn from other sources too. Then I put little things on there like "Mino de Bicut," that's good night. Mino de Bicut, Gigawaba Menjeba. I'll see you in the morning. Bawajigay Mino or Mino Bawajigay, you could turn, you know, say that either way. So dream, dream good. good. Yeah, Bawajigay Mino or Mino Bawajigay. I just do little sentences and, uh, and this morning I put, uh, I put on there, uh, that's freezing over moon today. Ayan minogizugat, have a nice day. Gashkadeno, see that's freezing. 
free, that's when the lake, the lake is freezing. The shark, I didn't know. Geese is freezing over moon. The shark, I didn't. So that's just freezing. The shark, I didn't know. Geese is. There's a different way how you say when you, like, um, you know, if when you're cold, you know, and so that. A yawn, you know, because you got a yaw, I just put, or you can say a yawn. A yawn, you know, because you got. But there's, there's so many different ways you can, uh, you can, uh, do that, uh. Well, anyway, I was gonna, I'm gonna start on, uh, about what I was gonna talk about, how our res started, when our, our res started to change. Uh, I, well, when, long time ago, I, I got a paper here that I put things in, I hope I can put things in order here. I notice a lot of our, our elders do that, mm -hmm. what you're talking about, where they'll talk about this and that, this yeah. and that, mm -hmm. and then at the end. Well, you, no, they they say what they're going to say first, and then they say everything mm -hmm. in and around it, all yeah. over the place, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. I, like, I kind of like that style. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, what I think, they never, I never ever seen, seen, um, RTC till I was probably after the uh, sixth. I don't I don't even remember. But all I can remember is them having a uh, like a meeting at my house at Strongville, and they would have it in my ki in my grandma's big kitchen. They'd have, there'd be about eight men sitting around. My grandpa built benches like um, wooden bench chairs or, you know, just, but they would all sit around and they'd all have a pipe. They'd all have pipes. And back then, back then there was, there was, um, I remember the men that would be sitting around. There was uh, Bill Johnson, Bill Boney. Bill, um, there was um, John Etlake, uh, Charlie Day, Steve Benner, and a lot of old men. Joe Sock, uh, uh, Burn, Bill Burnside, and um, they would, uh, all of them, some, if one didn't come, then somebody else would come, like, I suppose one of them would be sick or something, and, and they ask the other person to come in, come in on be at the meeting, they, but they would pass out tobacco before, uh, before they invite, you know. I remember this one old man would do that for everybody, which his name was Jippo, and he would pass out, uh, to go around passing out tobacco to all the men that would, that would come be at the meeting at that, they'd have it at night time. And they'd start about probably just when it was getting dark. There, we used to have a stairway, big long stairway at Strongville, and up on a kind of like way up toward this on the stair, they had a hole like a peak hole, and that's where I used to sit and peek, you know, and listen to what they were saying. And I'd see who was all there, you know. Um, 
there was the good sky, I can't remember his name, but there was just a lot of them. I know all of them. I know their Indian names. I know, you know, because I'd hear, I was, I was listening in and paying attention mm -hmm. to, uh, to what everything was said. That's how I knew about, about, uh, about their meetings. And pretty soon, people start, all the guys that were there start passing away, you know, slowly. I must have been about eight, seven, seven years old, I think. But I can't remember, I know we had three churches on the reservation. There was three churches there. There was one by, by across from Fidu's. There was a, a church. There was a Catholic church. Oh yeah. And then there, they had like, there was three nuns. They had like a little trailer, a, a little trailer uh, where they, uh, where they lived. There was like a little trailer court there, maybe with five five trailers there and the nuns lived in one and they used to use that uh, I don't know what they used they had but pretty then the Catholic Church had a little building made where they, they the nuns had a little store there. Oh so they what year was this then? That was kinda like must have been in the fifties. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember Noreen and Bertie lived back there in, the, in one of them trailers. And uh, that was by the Catholic Church. It was run by, I don't, can't remember who. Then three nuns would, uh, would uh, they were helping. Because I remember when I had my first baby they were baking uh, bundles, baby bundles, for everybody that had babies. Mm. And uh, I, w I went there and I got a, a bundle. There was blanket, they had handmade everything. Mm -hmm. There was little gowns and... and um, So that must have been in 63, because that's when my baby was, my oldest baby was born, 63. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, they, you know, and then there was another church up by uh, the old, the old Head Start up there. It was, it was a big white building. You know what I was going to ask? Um, I know that that Head Start had a, a fence around it. Yeah. Did did the Catholic Church ever have a fence around it? No. No. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. All right. I was asked because on other reservations, usually they, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, like uh, if they're out on the plains or out in the west, it yeah. seems like they, they gate off the whole mm -hmm. church area or something. Yeah, no, the, then the, uh, the third one was up where Axel Holmes lives. That was um, the only one I can remember running that all my life is Miss John. Oh, okay. They called her Miss John. Her name was Miss Johnson. Her first name was Walberg. And we would, uh, she wouldn't try to teach us the Bible. Mm -hmm. And she knew, I suppose she lived there so long. She was one of them that that deli helped deliver Lester. He was born on the red, right on the red Oh, seat. really? Huh. And she helped uh, Babe Ombeek. Mm -hmm. That was uh, Mrs. Uh, Good Sky. Uh -huh. They lived down where the uh, DNR building lives. I mean, this park now. Oh, right there by the big rock. Yeah, and that's where she lived. Mm -hmm. And she was come must have been kind of like um, helping, like when sick or babies are born. But mm -hmm. and um, she helped Miss John. Mm -hmm. And everybody liked Miss Johnson. Mm -hmm. and she she didn't try to push the Bible at us us Indian girls that that we had a young people's night she called it and we'd go yeah. and sit and uh, she'd build a fire in the church and 
we just go sitting there and talk and you know mm -hmm. and when she'd get in some uh, clothes we us girls would be the first ones to go there and uh, look through them like skirts because we never wore no pants till after lately and then uh, we had to wear skirts all the time so we'd go there and dig uh, dig for skirts or dresses some of the girls would dig, you know mm -hmm. and we'd get everything because we couldn't afford to go by but she was she kept a lot of kids too she brought them up they lived right with her in that she had a house by uh, where Axel has his now mm -hmm. and uh, but she I know there was uh, quite a few probably about 10 kids that lived with her through the years she was here and uh, she's I worked with her after I after I grew up in and uh, pretty soon they start all the churches started I think there was too many churches here mm -hmm. and um, I don't know if they were they were trying to get us to go to church or what but we never did you know we never yeah. and uh, a lot of that was when we went into seventh grade and or they they uh there was a big church on a hill in or there and we we go there just to get out of school oh yeah so you know i can't remember what they call that there's a oh uh i can't think of it but there's a term for it that they mm -hmm. they would uh i don't <laughs> i know it wasn't too too fancy like religious release yeah. or something like that <laughs> but we did we'd go in there and we'd uh, sit mm -hmm. and we some of us would sleep oh yeah while the church was going on you know uh -huh. we were singing oh yeah and sometimes we wouldn't even go in if it was too cold and we'd go in there but yeah just to get out of class we'd go to church and oh yeah uh, or yeah but uh, we I never once stepped into the Catholic Church that they had. They had down by uh, across from Fidu's there. Uh huh. I never once went in that church. Really? I remember my. Uh, I don't want to say my dad. Were you there? Uh, Alice. Mm -hmm. My grandma Alice got married there. Yeah. When, uh, I think to. Um, Jean. Jean. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know. Um, all of your all of your uncles and aunts were uh, got baptized there, but your dad and Roger ran away. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to be baptized. So yeah. the others ones were too small, too young. Oh yeah, yeah. So uh, you I think know. those Norm, I think. Mm, yeah, I started <coughs> Norm and Lou and Carol, Cynthia, and Cecile. Yep. Yep. And then Raj and uh, Gilig mm -hmm. ran away. Mm -hmm. And then plus my uh, my grandpa gave him uh, in uh, my somebody my grandpa had somebody give him Indian names. Mm -hmm. So I think your uh, grandpa Louis told him to go, mm -hmm. not to you know, yeah, not to. But I never once went into that other one up by the. Uh, up by the head start there the yeah. only one i went into was miss john's church mm -hmm. you know and uh, we go and talk about things you know about if we had any problems and yeah she was just a good listener and you know she treated all us, us kids you know good and mm -hmm. but uh i'm in, I noticed Tower never had a church, and I ho hope they don't have a church. Because mm -hmm. it seemed like that's when things started changing. Oh, yeah. For the, yeah. You know? Yeah. Because I remember Net Lake was a closed reservation a yep. long time ago. Yep. You had to get permission to come in here. Yep. This Pretty this similar to Red Lake. Yeah. You had to get permission to 
stay, like you want to stay a month or a couple months or something, then they just knew that the old men knew when your time was up. Mm -hmm. And they tell you, well, you, you spent here two months. Yeah, that's what you wanted to spend, so now you're you're gonna have to leave. Mm -hmm. you know, leave. In the, yeah, you yeah, have to uh, uh, and then uh, that I think that's what they used to talk they did talk about, you know, banning people off who were fighting and stuff and yeah. and uh, I would listen to to what they then like I said, they start dying off, you know, all the the old men. The old men. And pretty soon, they didn't have no meetings at all down at Strongville. Because mm. my grandpa got sick. He had multiple sclerosis mm -hmm. or whatever, where he ended up yeah. blind. And he ended up in a, uh, paralyzed. Yeah. yeah. Then they... Everything just quit then. That mm. was back in, let's see, I was 11 years old when he passed away. Yeah. Then I was 15 when my grandma passed away, oh. my grandma Rose. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and, you know, and I, like I kind of, people start come moving into the res seemed like after they quit doing, uh, they quit having uh, meetings. Yeah. That's what, and then the language started going out in the, and. Um, that would had that had to been about the time they started that relocation program. Yeah, because we went, to, uh, we were just young. Mm -hmm. We went to Cleveland, and then when we come back, everything was really changed. Oh, I bet. But. Uh, Anyway, the people start moving in from other reservations, you know, mm -hmm. and they, th it wasn't a closed reservation no more. I wonder, I mean, it, legally it still has to be, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I'm wondering what, what policy changed or maybe it was just the, because remember uh, J.K. Davis, mm -hmm. um, she used to uh, put it in a paper about the, the Indian agent uh, that used to be here and that Indian agent used to keep track they were the ones that people had to register with in order to uh, come to the reservation or leave the reservation they, they said my grandpa Charlie Gizik was an Indian agent that one time mm -hmm. so he must uh, you know he must uh, made sure track of people yeah, uh, and then, going off and on. And after he passed away, then Mr. Isham mm -hmm. was an uh, Indian agent yeah. in a cop, and then his son. Mm -hmm. You know, back then, I remember they, we had a chairman when the, the, the uh, council started coming, then I can't even remember when that happened, but must have been in the 50s or early mm -hmm. 50s, because uh, I remember... Uh, Harry Bonus, Lafayette Connor, yep. all of them were on council, and then they, uh, uh, our chairman was from uh, White Earth. Really? He lived here, yeah, and he, they made him chairman, hmm. and you know, that's how it was, I don't know. I how. suppose maybe the, just the whole policy changed, I bet you it was um, for coming from the government. Yeah. Plus, he was a sheriff oh, for okay. the uh, police around here. Yeah. He was only one, okay. you know, keeping the peace around here. And and he he probably did a lot for the res, you know. And right. And they, that's why they let him be the chairman. Hmm. But I was must have been in my teens then, mm -hmm. you know, when he was the chairman. Mm -hmm. Well, I think... Uh, one of the things too was a little bit of resistance mm -hmm. to that system so I'm sure that, that maybe the community here didn't really want mm -hmm. didn't really want to uh, go with that new system I think that mm -hmm. I remember reading something about that in college I think it was mm -hmm. where nobody stepped forward mm -hmm. to, to take that role on and 
and found somebody else mm -hmm. from yeah. another uh, yeah. reservation. So, someone that was, uh, what do you call, uh, interested in doing things for the res, you know? Yeah, yep. And nobody, no, you know, nobody wanted to say anything or, you know. And yeah. And that, that's the way it is still today, yep. you know, I think. Mm -hmm. But, um. So that was the turning point then, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of about that yeah. time, huh? Then they, we start losing the language. Yeah. The ones that, and then after all the the traditional me, old men, old ladies start dying out, then yep. the language went right with them. Well, know? a lot of the young young kids at the time, they were going off to, like you yeah. said, Cleveland, mm -hmm. Minneapolis, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, many other places around the, um, the country. If uh, there's listeners out there that, that um, don't know, uh, Google the uh, American Indian Relocation Program. And uh, I'm a product of that myself because my mother, she went to, uh, to relocation too. And she opted to, I mean, she had choices to go different places, you know, depending on what she wanted to study. And she wanted to study uh, secretarial uh, work and so they offered a program at, at Cleveland and I think that's what interested her because she had a group of friends that they went along with and so they all made plans to go to Cleveland and that's how they ended up and then my dad met uh, her out there. Your dad and a bunch of well, three more boys from Net Lake all went mm. to uh, Cleveland and that's where they met. Yep. Me and Lester went, we were just uh, just first married and mm -hmm. our youngest was uh, not even a month old. Oh, so he er, he went uh, and we went there. There was a whole bunch of net lakers. Yeah. Just like uh, you know, going to um, how they start moving to Minneapolis and yep. you know all that. But and that's where we were there for t two years in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. And then when we come back, everything was really changed yeah nobody was speaking the language and no before that when you said you were in your um like before 11 or age that like that had been read read around um 52 53 yeah so right around that time what what was the population here like, like how many because i was here about most of our like right now today a lot of our our band members live off the reservation or most mm -hmm. of them yeah and i don't know the numbers but i know minneapolis is a big area where there's mm -hmm. there's a large concentration of our band members down there well there seemed like there wasn't much that mm -hmm. lived here there mm -hmm. wasn't um, and um, that's why i think they they let all the other reservations come in here to rice you know like grand portage oh you know, yeah they they let them come and rice up here with you know and uh, i think yeah but it seemed like when i was like when i started first grade there was like uh probably about 12 kids 12 of us in a grade mm -hmm. and we had uh, like two grades together first and second yeah and back then they were still trying to uh, try to follow I think the uh, what do you call them when they send them ki the kids away to boarding school oh yeah, yeah. They, they were still trying to be like the boarding school mm-hmm and same way even after I remember the Jehovah Witnesses where me and Lester were first married and they'd come around. Mm -hmm. We're still in that we're still here then and they'd come in there and they'd say, How can we help you? How can we what can we do to help you? Mm -hmm. And Lester would say, Leave us alone mm -hmm. that's what he'd tell them. Yeah. But, you know, and he never let them in the house. Mm -hmm. you know? Right. Because, you know, but yeah, then, you know, I just, uh, that's when it, like, things are going to change again, you know, more. 
I don't know if it's going to be for the better or, or for the worst or, you know. Mm -hmm. But it seems like a lot of them are are um, learning their culture and the language as of, you know, today. Yeah, yep. And they want to... Um, well, I think people are inspired, you know, mm -hmm. I think they... Uh, they recognize or at least are searching for that identity mm -hmm. you know and and that is a positive thing mm -hmm. if uh, somebody understands of course their past or understands their where they came from mm -hmm. you know I was all surprised that there were some people that out there and just regular Americans or regular people that they didn't know exactly mm -hmm. where they came from you know and so I think that's that's one of the issues, and some people don't even think about it. You know, they they go ahead and live their life, and uh, you know, it's not really a thought to them. Maybe they are interested in their own family, interested mm -hmm. in their own career, interested in you know they, enough to keep them busy, and not really have to think about that. And they take pride in that, you know, and that's that's fine, you know. But there's a lot of people that are out there that want to understand. Um, where they came from, <clears throat> and uh, it, it'll help them, I believe, you know, especially if they're searching for something in their life. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, that relocation program was was uh, purpose. Perfect. The purpose of it was to um, uh, take the the young kids off the reservation, and uh, so that they they couldn't replace all of the traditional speakers, all the people that practiced the traditional ways. Mm -hmm. And so they wanted to encourage, and that's why they brought in that new type of government mm -hmm. also at the same time. And so it was like, oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna modernize these Indians, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, the churches were right along with them. Mm -hmm. You know, they say this is a great opportunity for us to uh, save some souls, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, our elders were more respectful you know mm -hmm. they never they never said no yeah. they never said it was bad mm -hmm. you know it's like yeah that's that's the word of the creator the word of you know mm -hmm. our higher power <laughs> mm -hmm. you know and it sounds good if you read the bible i mean it's mm -hmm. it's full of goodness you know mm -hmm. but then the way that they carried it out you know to convert people and, and save people that really that's where, you know, it, it kind of messed up with our culture and our ways and, mm -hmm. you know, and that's one of the things that's really central to our, not only uh, Anishinaabe people, but most of the, the uh, tribal people around uh, the United States and Canada, mm -hmm. you know, it's just something that was really fully ingrained in us and I, mm -hmm. you know, I'm surprised, I don't know why they, they believe that we came over from you know, Europe, where we, we somehow come over here, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and I think that gives them some kind of idea that, oh, we're lost, you know, mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, they left us a long time ago, and, mm -hmm. and they went to, you know, they came over here, and they're lost, mm -hmm. you know, I think that's, that's really what they believe, and so when they come over and they try to, you know, convert us and bring us back into you know, whatever church or, or whatever faith it is, it, you know, they believe that they're doing a good thing, yeah. you know? You know, I noticed nobody uh, uh, teaches the little ones any like when I started uh, teaching them the culture about, uh, I said, you know, I said, that means long time ago, I said, the plants were here first, the plants and the animals. There was nobody here, so just plants and animals, and they all talked to each other. So, and the animals talked to each other, I so, said. And, and uh, I said, then later on, I said, the, the, the man came, I said. and. Uh, was Nanapashu, I said, he came, then he's, I don't know, I said, but how, how we got started from a uh, long time ago, I said, uh, I don't 
really know um, you know but there is a lot of medicine men out there that that um, jury and bawajige of how things were and how they they came about you know like uh, Jesse was telling me and Lester that uh, her mother her mother's name was Wagi and um, and she said that when her mother was a little girl she she see Chibines, the big birds that fly must have been them dinosaurs. They were just going out then when she was a little a little girl. Mm -hmm. So and you know, then they start leaving and you know, just like everything else leaves, you know, they're here for a while then they they're they're not here, you know, they they are like uh, like how our language is going. It's here for a while and it if we don't work on it in life, like I said, it took us maybe a hundred years to seventy. And it's gonna take us seventy more years to get it back if I don't think we will though. But I think maybe some will here and there, but uh, they're not going to get it back or the way it was when it was first year. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a lot of teachings that go along with it. And like you said, you know, um, taking away even our family connections, mm -hmm. you know, by people being separated by distance mm -hmm. or taking them off the reservation and depleting the population mm -hmm. or y you're, you're weakening our people. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's really what what happened. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we got to be strong. Yeah, and maybe when we step into the other world, we'll, we'll be the same again. Just yeah, start and that's, over. that's the nice thought that's always mm -hmm. there, you know, um, to be back with our family, mm -hmm. to be back with our relatives. But mm -hmm. uh, in the in the meantime, I, I do believe I, I have strong um, uh, hope that we um, that we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna come back. I mean, our, our language, our culture. Mm -hmm. I think there's a there's a time to lead. You can kind of see it happening right now with uh, I don't know what do you want to call it society. <laughs> there's a there's a movement kind of on the bottom of of everything that's happening right now. Mm -hmm. You know, they're looking for something. They're looking for for the next the next next level you know mm -hmm. and uh, I know with our knowledge especially with what you you talk about and share with everybody about our dreams mm -hmm. and our connection that's 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 like what took care of our people mm -hmm. you know but why you get yeah and that's uh, that's that's how we got our messages you know mm -hmm. to uh, from our our, uh, spirits. our spirits mm -hmm. yeah and uh, I think people will, will come to understand a lot of that and there'll be, you know, uh, not that we're going to be like mm -hmm. fortune tellers or anything yeah. like that, mm -hmm. you know, but just to understand the connection, I think that's, that's a real powerful thing, you know, like they're, they're starting, scientists are starting to understand that the plants talk to each other. Mm -hmm. I just think that's, you know, if they can prove it now, they're going to prove a lot of other things mm -hmm. that we we already knew. Yeah. So, and because we already knew, I think th there's a time where they'll they'll figure out everything that that's in their world that came to be that they can now prove in a science way. Mm -hmm. They'll say, hey, you know what, Indian people they they knew this, they had this in their you know their uh, knowledge or their their systems, mm -hmm. and uh, they incorporated it into their way of life. Yeah. I think that was. Uh, I mean, I don't want to say everybody would walk around with 
with rainbows in their eyes or you know but I mean it was it was hard I mean life was hard mm -hmm. but yeah. we we had each other mm -hmm. so those kind of things and I was hear stories about grandpa and grandma mm -hmm. you know just how they uh, they not only took care of their family but they took care of the community mm -hmm. yeah they helped out families like their gardens and you know yep. meetings and you know, mm -hmm. with the traditional ones you know yep and I think there's people that'll that are out there right now that um, that have that in their heart mm -hmm. yeah it used to be that way like we can the parents can bring it back with their kids you know the schools can bring it back with their kids I don't know about the school <laughs> <laughs> I mean if it was tribally owned mm -hmm. yeah maybe yeah you know but uh, mm -hmm. uh, there's just too many uh, too many red too much red tape mm -hmm. you know yeah. to deal with on a, on a um, I don't know what do you want to call it uh, mm -hmm. US education system yeah. or even just a state education system so mm -hmm. I'd really like to see you know ownership of the uh, the education system and our not only just us I think that's why we don't participate as, as strongly yeah. in that system and uh, but you know what each each uh, each family or each parent will will face penalty mm -hmm. <laughs> you know uh, they'll get social service call <laughs> I think if they had more Indians in schools, you know, that, yeah. are, that are believe yeah. the traditional way, I think, you know, they could, they could pass it on to the kids, you know. Like, yep. Like this little girl, when we had that ceremony, I said, why do we, why do we uh, have to put tobacco using our left hand and she raised her hand she said because it's closest to your, your heart you know? mm -hmm. yeah. so that's going to stick with her for the rest of rest of her life right yeah and then we should have a drawing to oh what um, time are we at oh yeah we're just at the end of the hour we'll oh time flies i tell you so we have a drawing for uh, how you say dream? How do you say dream? There you go. That's a good one. Um, so let's uh, open up the phone line here. We got it right here. I don't know if you're following us on Facebook, but uh, if you want to call in and just tell us how to say dream in Anishinaabe Moen in the language, I'm going to hand the phone over to uh, Auntie and she's going to take your call. And then you can, uh, um, yeah, you can answer that question. So the question is, uh, how do you say a dream or what is it? He or she is dreaming or just a just dream? Just dream. Just dream. So just tell us, uh, tell us how to say that. And you can dial, Tony, you got the number up on the thing yet? Or can you? Tony's our uh, our production person here. He's behind the scenes, and hopefully he can get it up on the screen or at least add it to uh, the Facebook page. So anybody that's out there, if you're listening to this, tell us how do you say dream in Anishinaabe Moen? Uh, we talk about it all the time. <laughs> yeah. So let's see here. We are uh, opening the phone line at 218-80167. Yeah, and we've got callers like James Vukulich, you know? And so anybody that's out there, if you're listening up in Canada, let's say you're in, uh, where would you be? Uh, Nakachi... Oh, how do you say that? Uh, I can't remember. I used to know. <laughs> Corey knows it. No. Uh, yeah, I used to go up there all the time, go powwow. Well, anyway, uh, Northwest Bay is what I was trying to say. 
Uh, and then also, if you're up in, uh, I don't know, if you're out west somewhere. Let's see who's listening in anyway. I'll try to uh, bring it up on the screen here. So call in now. Let us know how to say or, or uh, answer the question. The question was, uh, how do you say dream? And I'm gonna play a song so somebody can. Uh, we'll take. We'll take the. Uh, we'll take the first caller, and uh, we're not gonna put you on the air. We'll play the music, and then you can call in, and then Auntie will. Uh, I'll hand the phone over to her, and she can get you, get you squared away, and then we'll hand you off to Tony, who's behind the scenes here, and he'll take your, your uh, information, and then. Uh, what we have available for you to pick from. There's uh, some gift cards that are in there, and then there's also some prizes like a uh, refrigerator, portable fridge. You can plug it right into your cigarette lighter, and it'll keep your, I think it's enough for like uh, six cans that you can keep nice and cold uh, while you're cruising along. And uh, yeah, so call in now, 218-248. 0167 and let us know how to say dream or you can keep your jingle bobble in there yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah some of you i know i'm getting getting up too old for that now here i'm gonna play uh, music here so call us and uh auntie will take your call Run, run. I'm going fishing. Sit, sit. Bring me something they can bite. Sit, sit. Bring me something they can bite. Pull, 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 we could be doing pull. Was that we are uh, winning? Mm hmm. Mm. All right, I got a caller here, so you can take this call, Auntie. Hey. Bonjour. I can hear. Koe. Wigunet. I can hear her. Okay, hold on. Wigunet. Hello. Can you hear me? Now, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, dream. Yeah. Good, you got it. Yeah. When you want to say you dreamt last night, you could say, Nibu Wajige Dibikung. I dreamt last night. Good, I'm glad. So you can come and pick a gift that you want. Anything up here. There's, uh, there's a little, little refrigerator so you can put your jingle bob in there. No. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, whenever. You can just Alrighty. stop up here or have uh, your knobam, mm. your husband, your knobam. Okay. Okay. You go have a man. Yeah. You go have a man. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Toodles. Toodles? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
The men the the men the 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 yeah, you'll have to dig those out here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. In your disco wagon, your jacket. Yeah, in Zugapun, it's gonna snow. Yeah, it is now. Yeah, cold. cold. When, see, that uh, another thing is cold is when you want to say it's cold outside. You know, Sinah, Gujing, cold. And when you're cold, like you could say Nigi Kaj. Nikki Kudjum yeah. cold? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nikki Kudjum. There you go. Me. Me, I'm cold. There you go. So you can. You can uh, be very descriptive. So when somebody says, Anin, you can say, Nikki Kudjum. I'm cold. I'm cold. And then you could say, Gin Dush? No. Yeah. Gin Dush, Nikki Kudjum. You two are cold. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, we're in the second hour now. Is there anything else that you want to cover uh, as far as what we, we've talked to? Kind of wrap it up maybe, and then we'll start on some new stuff maybe? Yeah, uh, let's see I'm just gonna, if there's anything else about... Oh, oh hey, I just want to recognize Toodles for calling in, right? Okay, yeah. And she got it right. Mm -hmm. So, me, Gwich, for uh, uh, calling uh, into the show. We in, enjoy and love your, your participation. We're trying to come up with some creative ways to to uh, engage with everybody out there. Uh, hopefully we get um, busy enough with this and you know we get some uh, support from other uh, people or businesses or groups where we can do a lot more of this uh, prize um, giveaways. And I'm not sure exactly what tools uh, selected, but there were uh, a few items that we had that were available along with some gift cards and stuff too. So um, congratulations to Toodles. Me, Quench. Gikinage. She won. Gikinage. All right. She won. Gikinage. Hey, how do you say bingo? How would you say bingo? Like you play here, she's playing bingo. Just or would you have I to make make just, it up? Yeah, just I won the keep kinage. No. <laughs> I won the keep kinage. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what you mean. So you thought I was saying the keep kinage. Raise your hand. The keep kinage. There yeah. you go. Mm -hmm. Right on. Hey, I won. Yeah. Powerball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the qua could. The qua could. Ball. Oh, okay. You say power. Mm, maybe yeah, I uh, remember how to say bingo in uh, Ojibwe. Jermawin? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's no one. Tony mm. pokes his head in and gives us his, his red leg humor. He says, uh, Did Jama win? He said, That's how you say bingo. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So that's a supply on words there. That's mm. Did your ma win? Yeah. yeah. And uh, for everybody that's out there, that's a little native humor for you. Mm -hmm. So, gush, gush, cut the no, gizis. Yeah, that's November. Gush, cut the no, the, the lake is just freezes as a ice on there. Yeah, it's gonna happen anytime soon. Yeah, gush, cut the no. I can see it already getting, getting cold, and then uh, I think there were come kind of sheets of ice there on the river. Mm -hmm. Like by uh, Gein, not Gein, but uh, by the dam there. Mm -hmm. Hey, tell us about that. Tell us about old, uh, what was it, Foster's? No. Was that across from the dam there? Yeah. That, yeah. That's where, the, that was the Indian hangout. Was it? Mm -hmm. oh. All the Indians hung out with old Ed Foster and his wife. Uh-huh. 
He had a, he even had a parking place for them at behind his store. They take uh, all their rice, the ones that you know that wanted to sell. Mm -hmm. He'd parch. He'd help them parch, and then they he would trash the rice for them. Oh. And uh, he'd have uh, great big garbage cans mm -hmm. full of rice. Mm. His, his store just smelled like wild rice. Wow. It really was smelled good. Ooh, in there. I bet. Yep. All of us kids would go there, and that's all we get for helping is uh, ice cream cone. Mm. And that oh, he had good ice cream. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, he must have sold rice from sold it all over out of state and stuff and right, made, yep. made Juni a lot of initial bake. Yeah, I know. He was probably getting uh thirty some dollars, you know, mm -hmm. but good for him I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, it fostered. <laughs> uh, I, I bet if somebody looked around back of where he used to live, I bet they'd find a lot of old I bet coins yeah. or something like well you know strongville that's all grown over right so mm -hmm. it's been since what 19 Probably. well she passed away in like what 63 somewhere around there no she passed away in let's see. 50 50 Cardine wasn't born and she passed away probably in 57 58 58 yeah oh okay yeah, around there. yeah and we're talking about our our grandma my great great grandma uh rose bear grease and uh yeah it seemed like right about that time is is when you know the family kind of spread out mm -hmm. of strongville yeah yeah when they left yeah when family. everybody kind of vacated that little area and if you come to the village you can uh stop by auntie karen and she's got all these stories about uh strongville and uh we're, we're actually working on a uh, like a little program mm -hmm. uh like a history kind of documentary I guess mm -hmm. uh, but we're just gonna do it in a series of interviews mm -hmm. so we're gonna interview some people that that have a memory of Strongville and mm -hmm. just uh, I don't know we're gonna record it and just try to keep it for uh, future uh, generations about a week and a half ago I got I got a text from some guy he wants me to come come to their uh, they're having a like a he works for like uh, uh, what is that um, chemical dependency thing, mm -hmm. and he asked me if I could come or I could do it on Zoom. Uh -huh. uh, a life story. Oh, okay. Of uh, me and how. Oh. You know, cause, uh, he knows that there was a lot of alcoholism in my family. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And uh, he knew Lester. And you know, mm -hmm. and you know th that there was a lot long time ago, and you know, uh, like I said, me and Lester had two life lifestyles mm -hmm. where you know my people at Strongville never really had drinks all the time. You know, they mm -hmm. maybe once a month they'd set a batch and drink, but where Lester's parents got money from timber sales a lot like Walter yeah and they drank a lot you know and mm -hmm. that's he had a really bad uh, alcohol chronic alcohol by the time mm -hmm. he started when he was 13 years old oh so yeah getting drinking yeah and you know I my dad was that way and and uh, Later on, when Lester sobered up and went to the treatment, went for four years in UMD, and he was a counselor. He had, so he, I learned a lot of stuff from him, him being a counselor. Mm -hmm. He used to tell me, he said, we, oh, we almost, get a, we almost got a divorce when we were 22. Uh, we were married 22 years. And mm -hmm. um, what he told me, he said, you know, he said, if you if we do get a divorce, he said, if you meet someone else, he said, that someone else is going to be worse than me. Mm -hmm. He said, it's, it's, but we didn't get a divorce. We worked on our problems, and then 
Yep. And ended up um, being married 51 years before well. he passed away. Mm -hmm. But you know, and but I told that guy, I said I'll I'll think about it, and then I'll let you know if I can, you know, tell you my life story when I, you know, mm -hmm. what I seen with alcohol and yeah, and you know there was no drugs when we were just all uh, wine and beer and whiskey and mm -hmm. setting batches, you know, making our own home brew. Mm -hmm. And when we started trying to drink in, t in our teen years, we'd set batches, you know, because mm -hmm. there, you know, there was um, bootleggers up here, you know, like Joe Merkel, but... Oh yeah, old uh, Joe Merkel. Yeah. <laughs> he watered down his wine. Oh. Uh. And that's where everybody would go down by yeah. the word there. And, uh, You'd go down there and you'd see Indians laying all over the ground over there. Oh, really? Huh? Yeah, that's what uh, I remember him. I mean, I remember going over to his place. My dad used to stop in there quite a bit. And uh, just for whatever reason, whether, you know, trading something or seeing if he could work out a deal for, I don't know, whatever, you know, tools, that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. But, uh, yeah, that guy was a, a millionaire, right? Yeah, he owned you know, hotels and halls. Yeah. But he used to go around garbage places and more. Right, right. yep. And he'd go pick out vegetables that they were throwing away. Mm -hmm. And he'd have a big outside fire with a big kettle. Yep. And he'd scrape all the mold and stuff off the vegetables and mm -hmm. make, make soup big pot of soup for the Indians that were oh, yeah. all drunk down there laying around on the ground. Wow. But yeah, uh, he's had all kinds of hot stuff laying on his, oh. you know, TVs uh -huh. and tools and... Yeah. TVs. Probably like pond, like mm -hmm. pond thing maybe? Huh. Yeah, they would go hawk. Something. Hawk stuff, yeah. yeah. I remember my daddy would go around all the, you know, I think down by Silverdale and all that, out that way, them little tiny mm -hmm. places. I remember one time he stopped in at this one house. <laughs> I was like, what are we doing here? <laughs> and he, he goes in and he comes out with a little bottle, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was, uh, oh, that's another place, remember? Um, what's her name out there that used to have that store? Remember old Lou and Squeak would always go down there? Vi. Vi's, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, there used to be a store there, it was pretty popular, mm -hmm. you know, she had all kinds of stuff, it was just a regular store, mm -hmm. you know, and she, she sold booze on the, on the side or out the yeah. back door or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, so yeah, all the, all the natives uh, knew where the, these places were and, you know, you could, you could, uh, I don't know, find people, I don't know mm -hmm. if that's still true today, you know, but. I uh, don't think you can, maybe there is that we don't know about. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But that that lifestyle. So this guy wanted to do an auto auto not an auto. What would it be called? A biography. Yeah. Yeah. And I I still didn't get a hold of him yet. Mm-hmm. You know, cause, you know, yeah. I had a rough life you know, after getting married and you know was living through all that um, alcohol. You know, um, and that's. I, you know, I don't think nobody's really smoked cigarettes at, uh, at uh, Strongville. They all chewed snuff, you know, mm -hmm. in where Lester and them had cigarettes. He could buy cartons at a time, you know, oh, and we couldn't. Okay. Yeah. And that's why, you know, he smoked, him and his brother, all of them smoked. You know, his mom and dad, Moira. They all smoked cigarettes for a long time, and then they, they all quit, though. I bet you all of us kids probably learned uh, learned about snuff pretty quick. I remember uh, mm -hmm. my grandpa came down to uh, Duluth like in 1973, 74, when we lived down there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had this place right across, uh, I think it was 3rd Street. There used to be a, a supermarket right there. It was called uh, National. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember them old supermarkets, but I remember we used to see that. I think we even seen them out in uh, Denver when we lived out there. 
but uh, yeah, and uh, so he came there to watch us while my mom and dad went to work. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember we were bringing him down from Net Lake, and we went and parked, and then everybody went inside. And then I think my mom forgot something out in the car, maybe my dad. But anyway, they told me, "Son, go down there and uh, get this for for me." I left it out in the car. So he was in the car with us all the way, and I think I fell asleep or something. And uh, here I went down there, and there was this this can of uh, Coke, Coca Cola. <laughs> and I looked at it, and I'm like, "Oh, that looks good." And I picked it up, and it still had some in it. Mm -hmm. So I took pick it up, and I took a big big drink of it, and I just thought it was uh, pop. <laughs> here it was, his uh, snooze can. <laughs> Oh yeah, so I remember that. That's a vivid memory yeah. in, in my mind. Mm -hmm. I know uh, me and Clara tried to steal snuff, <laughs> and we put it in our in our lip. Uh -huh. Oh, we got sick. <laughs> we were puking. Sugar go away. Oh, sugar go away. That's how Excellent. you say throw up. Yeah. Oh, sugar okay. go away. Yeah. And we never touched it again. Yep. And I used to try to smoke when I was with Lester, but they used to say I was ruining cigarettes because I didn't inhale them. I just mm. put it in and blow it out like a chimney. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, I think that's how. I tried to chew one time, but uh, yeah, it didn't really do anything for me. So I was like, oh, okay, all right. All that was the ladies even chew. My mom. Oh my yeah. My grandma. Yeah. Everybody chew. Mm-hmm. I remember seeing uh, That's ladies. That's how they used to say snuff. How's that? Giko Nenjige. Giko Nenjige. What, what is the interpretation? Is well, Nenjige is your... Your lip? Your, yeah, your ear. Oh, inside? Inside your, like, your eating or your... Oh, okay. Nenjige. Oh. What? Mm, I used to hear them say snuff. Well, I think it'd be really good when if you uh, followed up with that that gentleman on uh, getting your your uh, biography done. Mm -hmm. Like you said, you're you're a very strong woman. Mm -hmm. You know, you've uh, you've lived a, a real good life. You know, overall, I would say. No. You know, I mean, you 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 were there. You had all these uh, influential people in your life. You know, mm -hmm. who were powerful themselves. You know, yeah. and. Uh, It'd be really nice to to hear more accounts of uh, Strongville. Like I said, it's mm -hmm. something that um, something that we're working on. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought about. Um, go, remember when you gave us a, a little tour down there? Mm -hmm. um, you took us right right through the area. It's all overgrown now. Yeah. You know, and uh, there's all these uh, brush that turned into trees mm -hmm. now, um, and then but there's still the the home sites that are yeah. still there, mm -hmm. you know, you told us that all of the homes yeah. were next to these cedar trees, mm -hmm. which I thought was, you know, mm -hmm. um, yeah. an interesting aspect of it, you know, mm -hmm. that each each of them uh, houses had, had a cedar tree right next to it. Yeah, they used to, uh, that would be a good historical place there. Yeah. With all the well, I even think just the map that you uh, you uh, brought in that time mm -hmm. would be really good just to kind of demonstrate about you know mm -hmm. what what was there mm -hmm. because right now I mean there's there's some really cool really historic uh, artifacts I guess they call them in a, in a museum kind of a way yeah. you know like old medicine bottles old uh, mm -hmm. pill bottles old uh, yeah. Oh, that harmonica that I found, yeah. If uh, you know, when Auntie took me through there, and there was uh, me, Carlene, Donald, um, Shane, no. Shane, Tracy. Mm -hmm. uh, we all went through there, and then you kind of gave us uh, an idea of where everybody lived, mm -hmm. and uh, Donald kind of picked through some of the things, and it was it didn't really take that much to to find these things. They were like right there, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like some kind of like um, uh, period in time or something mm -hmm. like a like a science kind of mm -hmm. way but 
uh, the stuff that was on top, I remember I, I still have it in my office. I got mm -hmm. one of the old metal cars, mm -hmm. you know, and I remember I found one too. Remember they, uh, when they made that, or they uh, um, blacktop the road going down to uh, Pineview? Mm -hmm. I found a car down there too. It was kind of a similar thing, but it was uh, red. Mm -hmm. and, but it's the same exact style car that we found down in Strongville. And that one was green. And uh, and then we also found a, uh, a harmonica. And then you you told me the story about uh, Louis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, he used to play. He was a good player. Mm -hmm. I'd like years playing. Mm -hmm. He'd be dancing while he was playing. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's another thing I I, I really like the, the that you shared too about the about life here. Um, that most everybody knew how to play an instrument. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they played uh, violins and guitars. And mm -hmm. Betty Jane used to play a ukulele. Mm -hmm. Even ladies were playing. Uh -huh. they, then they'd have the ladies would have jigging contests. Oh yeah. My ma used to jig around just hard. I yeah. I, I was only about five years old. Ma, don't jig. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'd be half Yoshkwe. Oh, yeah. And all of the, all of like her and Evelyn Dupree and mm -hmm. all of them, you know, they would be having a jigging contest. What? They'd be just jumping, you know. Uh huh. And some of them would look really nice, you know, jigging. Yeah. And they never do that, you know. Yeah. Well, th they still do it, like up in Canada. I know. Mm -hmm. They, they, there's uh, uh, contests, I guess, that they do. Mm -hmm. I see some on TikTok now, yeah. you know, and mm -hmm. some on Facebook, where they show. Uh, uh, yeah, natives like up on um, the eastern plains. I think a lot of Cree people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They probably do a lot of that jigging. Up. Yeah. And. Uh, Somebody said, no, I don't think it was square dancing. Maybe it was, I don't know. They used to, Bill Tibbetts and them kind of used to have one. Remember that they had a big co-op hall down where the store was, down by the RTC, there was a great big co-op hall. Mm. That's where they'd have dances. And oh. They'd have the pie socials down there or basket socials. Mm -hmm. And they'd have, uh, that's where they had the chicken contests oh, okay. and now uh, William Woodenfrog and them would play fiddles mm -hmm. Fred Jordan okay and uh, uh, give her that uh, what's the name of that uh, sleepy ball no that, uh, that one that sing they sing their uh, a group or yeah uh, it's a group it's a uh, Bottom Boys? What oh, that? Soggy Bottom Boys, yeah. yeah. There, there was a guy there, his name was Fred Jordan. Mm -hmm. He could sing like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? When I first heard that, I said, hey, there's Fred Jordan singing that. Oh. That, that one good song they had on. Uh -huh. And he used to play fiddle with Fred Jordan. What? Yeah, so, you know, that's... I. I'm wondering too, like where all that went. You know, I think that kind of faded away. At least in my generation, anyway. There wasn't really too many of us that played instrument. There was some, right? And I think like Bob Headland, Joe Headland, they used to try to uh, do guitars mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Your dad was too. Yeah. Well, he was a lot older, right? So. Mm -hmm. And Lester used to play guitar. Oh, okay. Yep. And I remember uh, Skunko. Yeah, Skunk Edder, I remember he had a real nice uh, Fender guitar, like one of the ones that are probably worth like five thousand dollars today. Cash, Cash. Used oh, to Cash too. Yep. He had a guitar. He would play Johnny Cash songs. Yeah, the and Man in Black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we'd get on. He'd get on his little Johnny Cash kick, and he'd see him walking around town in his all black outfit. Yeah, it was a guitar. Yeah, that there's no more 
anybody interested in in uh, musical instruments? Yeah. Well, we were uh, Ch when Chaz was here. We thought about it. We we're like, you know what we should do? We should uh, buy instruments here, and then mm -hmm. just offer it up for kids just to come in and yeah, start strumming along and maybe start jamming mm -hmm. after a while. Actually, me and uh, Tony, you know, and uh, this new guy that we hired, um, we're gonna we're gonna try to form some kind of little music group. You know. Anthony, ever since he was seven years old, he was playing piano. Mm. And Pete and Goober came up one time, and he was in the bedroom playing piano. And they they thought that was on. A, that's how good he is at the piano. What he can play good on the oh, piano. Wow, yeah. Well, that's good, and uh, you know, it, it's kind of. Well, I don't want to say hardly anybody because uh, Julie Whiteman's boys. Mm -hmm. um, them young guys, they had a group, and then also I think uh, Damon, Damon Day, mm -hmm. he he was part of a, a group too. I think they call themselves Sucker Punch or something mm -hmm. like that. And uh, yeah, there's some other groups that were around here, so I, I can't say that nobody plays instruments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, they're they're far and fewer than I think they used to be. Mm -hmm. You know, like in in. Um, like the 60s. Yeah. Then Anthony played in high school just a couple of years ago. He played drums. You know, when they go to, they went on a, a, a basketball thing in the Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. Here they, they showed him on that big screen. He was playing the drums. Oh, what? He got his picture up there. <laughs> so he's, he's good at it. And Keith Sicola gave him a flute. Oh, yeah. He yep. still has it, and I can hear it. I can hear him uh, playing on it some night, sometime. Mm -hmm. So he's re really interested in. And he asked me to buy him a guitar, but I I I don't didn't have no money to. Well, to buy I think we still have that uh, outline, that plan to do that, mm -hmm. and we just wanted just to have instruments available in case any of the kids wanted to. Mm -hmm. To uh, get involved, and then we're we're looking for people out there uh, in the surrounding communities that that played that and mm -hmm. could teach. Yeah. Yeah. So we're we wanted to start a guitar class and mm -hmm. show people just you know mm -hmm. how to uh, do the the fretboard and all that, yeah. and then the strumming, and uh, hopefully put some notes mm -hmm. together to yeah. create some songs and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, we still have that on the drawing board. Like I said, when Chaz was here, we were just ready to, to launch that and then COVID start, mm -hmm. started up right away. Yeah. So, and I said, he said, yeah, we're gonna get a drum set too. And I was like, oh man, if we're gonna get a drum set, we need a, we need a sound room where they can make all the noise they want and nobody will hear them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wish they would do things like that around here, you know. Mm -hmm. Start with the little kids, you know. Playing, oh yeah, yep. Playing guitar or piano or. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, it's in the works. Um, let's take a quick break here. Okay. Uh, yeah. and we'll get you something to drink here. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna play you a song or play you guys a song here while we're taking a break. Come on, come on, sing, sing along.
play button. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Anyhow, we are back. We just had to take a quick break and uh, got our uh, nippy. I've been trying to cut back on that. The, the caffeine in it, and then I've been trying a uh, decaf. <laughs> it's just not the same. But I am trying to uh, find something to, uh, I don't know, I used to love uh, like having a, a muffin, uh, like a blueberry muffin, or a, I would just say that one. Me nun, me nun gun. Yeah, me nun bequasia gun. And uh, what about a condom? A condom? No. Or way 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 wa gizid gizid. Yeah, banana. Yeah, way wa gizid bequasia gun. Banana bread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. We want you to sit. We want you to sit. Okay. Yeah. That's you know right. that museum is that? Like, you know, all banana shaped like this. Yep. Mm -hmm. And another one. That means like more like. Oh, okay. All right. Why would you to sit? So you could see like feet and there. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Sit. Oh. Sit. Mm hmm. Cool. Yeah, so uh, somebody brought in some banana bread. That was really good. Gain. Gain. Mm. Tastes pretty good anyway. Maybe it was. Uh, Marty. Could have been. Yeah. Or maybe um, the new guy. Uh, Dale. What is his name? Dale Luganbill. Where's, where's he? Oh, well, I'll introduce you to him over here. I was telling telling him about tobacco. Mm -hmm. uh, and I said, you know, we, we use tobacco here. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was really mm -hmm. about it. Is he one to go, she? Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Very good. It goes along with the language. I said, if you if you learn our language, you'll know more about our culture. <laughs> mm, yeah. So, yeah. So we've been just kind of taking them under our wing and, um, you know, you know what, what it is that mm -hmm. some of the protocol, you know, like always mm -hmm. uses tobacco. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, so he's, he's uh, uh He's eager to learn, and of course, he's going to be helping out KBFT. Mm -hmm. I'm going to introduce him tomorrow oh, at the uh, tribal council meeting mm -hmm. tomorrow morning, so you'll get to see. Mm -hmm. Well, anyhow, uh, we've got another 19, 18 minutes or so, and uh, you got anything else you want to cover? I, I found this uh, other value I, I put on Facebook here. It's, uh, uh, remember, me, remember the great spirit who has given us this life, looking after us. We should thank, give him thanks. Okay. Mikwanima. That means remember. Mikwanima. 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 M i k w e. N A M A. Remember, the Queen Ma. Did you money do? Remember, great spirit. Did you money do? The Queen Ma. Did you money do? He mean it go in. Gave me. Gave us. He mean it go in. He mean or you? Yeah. He mean it go in. The Ma does it win. Gave us life, gave us life. Give me a go be man to see when. Gonna win the man. Gonna win the man. Gonna win the man. 
Kanuenimian Gidami Gwetchuida. We should thank him, everybody. Me Gwetchuida. Me Quenima Gichimanidu Gimini Guin, the Majesty Win. Kanuenimin Gidami Gwetchuida. Remember the great spirit who has given us this life, looking after us. We should give him thanks. I did this. I got like thirty. Uh, Mikwenima. Yeah, me me Mikwenima. Remember. Mikwenima is remember. Kichimani mm -hmm. Du is a great spirit. Yeah. Uh, gave it give me, give me me give, go win. No. Give me, 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 Gun away in the yarn. Gun away in the yarn. Get down, we da. We da. We da. So there's a little. He would da. Oh, good chi. Me quit your we da. Me quit your we da. Okay. Me quen the ma. What you want to do? Give me any going. The modesty win. Go in and go in the minion. Go in the minion. Yeah. Get down, me get your weed out. Okay. There's that first one. Uh, there's that second one. Know your dreams. Um, it's. Uh, Minge Minge Wayne Dong. Yeah. Minge Minge Man Minge Man Dong. Minge Man Dong in Nab in Nabandaman. In Nabandaman. In Gudin. He can dog. What you can. Remember your dream. Remember or hang on or could be hang on to your dream. Someday you will know the purpose. Benjamin John and Nathan Daman. In good thing that he stand up to watch again. And then that first one was Gishpin. Way way ni the modesty. Gabe e gabe modest. That would be an easy one for you to say. Gishpin. Gishpin wewene bamadizi gabe gigab. Gabe e. Oh, gabe e. Okay. Gabe e. Gigabe modest. Giga. G-I-G-A. Giga. Be modest. Gigabe e. Gigabe e. Sometimes that, that makes you go tongue tied. You hear me? Gishpin <laughs> is all. Yeah. It always be if. Gishpin. Gishpin be my giant if you go. Gishpin. Gishpin to born a barn. If I go with you know, if, if before I go to sleep, Gishpin. You can use Gishpin with a lot of. You can use a lot of these words over and over again. Benjamin Da. Hang on to it. Inabandaman. Inabandaman. In good thing. He can not watch again. He can not watch again.
that that one will be the easier one. Maybe we should have have a a bigger prize for uh, for this one. Uh, people to learn this one values. Kishpin uh, weweni bimadisi kabei bimadis. Yeah, they would. They would need a real big prize. Kishpin <laughs> weweni. I use weweni in drive safe. Weweni. You know, when somebody go when somebody goes some or goes home, I'll say weweni dabi iwe as you get away in. Drive safe as you go home. Mm. There's a lot of words that aren't in that little dictionary that you know, mm -hmm. like uh, like if you're sore somewhere, you're goggy this. Goggy this. Goggy this. Goggy this. Goggy this. Goggy this. Like a nick, my arm is sore. Mm. Goggy. <laughs> and um, I put I had under a mishkiki nene badaki ego nongo nene ke goggy this. I said, wow, the doctor picked me today. Now my arm is sore. Mishkiki nini, wadaki igu nungu, nenik, gagagi disi, gagi disi, sore. Like there's words like throwing up. I don't, I don't know if they have that in a dictionary, do they? Yeah, they do. Um, this is one Tony always say, Gagi the Wigan. Gagi. Yeah. Da Wigan. That's how it's I'm trying to say my back. Oh, my back. Is sore. Okay. Uh, the Pikun is your back. Oh, the Pikun. Ne pikun. Oh, pikun. Ne, ne pikun. Pikun. Hmm. Maybe they have a different way of saying that. Uh, this one says he or she has a sore back. So you're talking about somebody else. Uh, gagi. Gagi disi. No, gagi. Da wi gane. D a a w i g a n e gane. I don't know what region that's from. It. I think it's because uh, they usually point out what region it's from. Usually, uh, they used to say the pikun the dawa igu the dawa igu. My back is bothering me. Mm, okay. The pikun the dawa igu. Gagi tawigui tawige. Ear? Yeah, my trying to say my ear is sore. I got a sore ear. Gagi, gagi jitawage. Gagi, gagi jitawage. No, gagi, gagi, gagi desi tawage. That's gagi desi in the tawage. Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty close. My. I was, I look at this Facebook on uh, Saturday and they have ladies there talking about like a pre. Mm -hmm. There's some words in there that sound just like ours, but they're different. Yeah. Yep. They're diff and I can recognize <clears throat> how they start out with, uh, with our dialect and they go to a different dialect. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of their, their G's are uh, K's. Yeah. Yeah. So if they have two ladies that, that are on there teaching mm. teaching sentences. Okay. Yeah, because I know like uh, ga, gagi, gagi. 
Doggy gay? Doggy gay? Like forever? Or on it never ending or everlasting or whatever it is? Doggy gay? Doggy gay? Yeah. That's the name of, uh, of one of the drums here. Uh, Rose Barron's drum. Doggy gay equate? Oh, yeah. Everlasting woman? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, up there, instead of Goggy Gay, they say Cocky K. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they all say it with a K. I I was watching that uh, that uh, show this weekend on Discover Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. They have a uh, that guy was uh, doing that in, uh, talk about Wisconsin. There he said there was a little Indian village up somewhere. They named it. Firefly. They call it what? Firefly. They're saying that. Oh. oh. Indian. Uh -huh. They were saying, wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, KC is yep. a firefly. Yep, wow, wow, They were saying, wow, wow, Togusi. Wow, wow, Togusi. Yeah, and that's like the name of that little, uh, that little, uh, what do you call that they have? Uh, wow, wow, Togusi. Resort. resort. Oh, okay. So that's the name of their resort, Wawatogasi. Wawatogasi. And he, he said the Indians named it Firefly. Huh. On Discover Wisconsin? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, there's a, they got all kinds of different Indian. pronunciations over yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I want to know where, uh, I think we were talking about this the other day, about where they got Ojibwa. Mm -hmm. You know, because they say that, you know, up in Michigan. Yeah, you know, when they were fixing our houses up here years ago, they sent us to a, a little uh, place where by Pine Grove Resort, one of the little resorts that we went and stayed there for two weeks till they fixed our house. That was years ago. And we stayed in a little camp, in a little, little log house. And there was names on the top of the houses, mm -hmm. and it said Ogidake. That means up on up the hill. Up on the hill, yeah. And I asked that man. He said uh, Harold and Agnes Goodsky named these, uh, named all my cabins in Indian, the Indian language. And we stayed in that one that was called Ogidake. Okidaki. That that's a drum too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Up from Red Lake. Mm -hmm. I'm having trouble. Oh, that's why. And there's uh... Well, then another one I had. Honey says you're busy. That means what's wrong with you? Anin a. No, Anish. Oh, Anish. Asia way busy, eh? Asia way busy, eh? Mm -hmm. Anin, eh, busy, busy. Anin, Asia way busy, eh? Anin, eh, Asia way busy, eh? Okay. Anisha, Anisha, Asia way busy, eh? You can call her that at tone. I know, yeah. <laughs> I'm having Anisha trouble with your microphone here. One second. Anisha, Asia way busy, eh? What's wrong with you? I'm home alone. My grandson went to work. I'm home alone. We had to go in a bit. No, she shall be my job. He and the pig. We had to go in a bit. No, at work? Yeah. I don't know. Oh. I keep having trouble with this. The engine is me and me. We have to go in a bit. No, she should be my job. Be in a bit. The toddy week of me. Went to work at the casino. A toddy week of me. It's like the gambling, the gambling house, right? Yeah. A toddy wick. A 
Tommy, Tommy DeWee. That's what Walter's singing on his song. Mm -hmm. Todd, he says something about a Todd DeWee. Mm -hmm. Like cards when he's singing a moccasin. Yeah. Moccasin game. And that was our, our traditional gambling mm -hmm. uh, so, games. Yeah. Yep. So, or one of them, anyway. Mm -hmm. I know there were others that we we uh, yeah, used. Yeah. Morning, where is the end? Uh, looks yeah. like we're just about uh, done here in a couple seconds. So we got time to sign off uh, for today, and uh, we'll be back on Thursday. Me win gives your gut fourth day. And uh, so we will uh, come back on that day and I will get a better headset for Auntie. She, yeah. <laughs> she's been having trouble today. <laughs> I know. I, just, I wish she was like little bitty. Yeah. Um, dog talk. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Anyway, a lot of, lot of technical issues today, but you all have a good day. I hope. Okay, well, we made it through it, didn't we?